All right, today we're gonna learn how to set up on OBS a dual PC stream. So that's two different computers streaming gameplay at the same time, two video cameras and two microphones, all in the same stream from OBS, okay? Now, to do this, you're gonna need some equipment. So let me show you what you're gonna need. Now I'm just kind of winging this, I'm using my cell phone to show you all this stuff. Um, you need a computer, you need a webcam, and a microphone, okay? Now, for the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna use this headset as my microphone instead, instead of the uh, blue snowball. All right, and then you're gonna need another computer. You can see one right back there. And you're gonna need a, a webcam for this station and a microphone for this station, okay? The other thing you're gonna need is an Elgato or a capture card. I use a Game Capture HD. So 1080p is the most I need, so I keep it simple. I got one for 75 bucks, I bet you can get them cheaper. Um, all right, so there's two computer setups. Uh, to make things easy, I just put them right next to each other, okay? Um, and optional, you can have a green screen, okay? So we have a green screen nailed up to the wall just so we can do chroma key stuff. Okay, so let's get started, all right? This is the screen we're gonna work on. I already have everything built, and I'll show you how I built mine, how you can build yours. And we're going to build this from scratch, okay? There we go. Now, you should be able to see me on the screen. I'm right here, and you could also see Brittany on the screen as well. Brittany, can you wave? Hello, wave at your camera. There you go. So we each have our own camera, and they're both set up to um, the streaming PC, okay? So one PC needs to be dedicated to, for streaming. So all your audio should go into that, all of your cameras should go into that. You don't have to do it that way, but I recommend that you do it that way for simplicity. Um, as you can invest in better equipment, you can do more and more things, but um, definitely easiest to just make everything go to one PC, okay? So, as you can see here um, on the little top, it's basically cut up into a grid, okay? Um, the top left corner is the, the screen feed from uh, the streaming PC, okay? So let's call this one number two, and then the one Brittany is at, okay, see the screen above Brittany? This is gonna be number one, all right? So uh, the center monitor from PC one is where that video feed's coming from, and then the left monitor for PC two is where my feed's coming from. Hey, you can kinda see me. Um, now on station one, or excuse me, station two, uh, we have this webcam, so you can see me here. Hey, all right, and then there's Brittany's webcam for her station, there she is, hey. Okay, now um, I also have a microphone in, right in front of Brittany that is being brought right over here, okay, and that's down. Um, Brittany, can you tap on that mic? It is one of these. I think it's gonna be the Snowball. Oh, there it is, Yeti mic. Cool, I changed the name to Yeti, sweet. So there's that one, okay, and then there's the headset mic, which is right behind here. Um, I'll lift it up, but there's a headset here. This is also hooked up, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and build this from scratch in just a sec. So there's two computer screens, there's two webcams, two audio, and we also have uh, scrolling donations. Um, it, basically uses uh, Streamlabs and you can have scrolling donations. You can also, uh, through Streamlabs, have a chat update box. So um, I don't usually use those things, but just to kind of show what you can do, I built them into this build. And I also have these shading effects in the back. I'll show you how to do those. And we also have alerts. There it is. So um, I'm now following myself. So. There's uh, alerts put in here too. I put them like right here in the middle so it can kind of pop up, it goes away, and make sure everyone sees it. And it's not overlapping any other like text and stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this. We're gonna create a, a, a new scene. Now, uh, keep in mind, I am using OBS Studio. Uh, it's 0 0.16.2, that's the version I'm using. Um, 
there is another older version of OES that is very popular. I'm not using that one, I'm using their new one, okay? Um, we'll just name this scene tutorial. You can name it whatever you want. Um, I, for mine, I named it dual stream, but for this one, I'm naming it tutorial. Okay, there, look, nothing there, okay? So we need to add two cameras, two mics, two video feeds, and um, Streamlabs and all that good stuff. Okay, so let's just get started. Let's go ahead and add a video capture device. We're gonna add a couple of these. Now I have existing ones. Um, let's add Brittany Cam, okay? So basically what you do is you, you um, locate that device that's plugged in. If you don't see it, you gotta unplug it, plug it back in, and restart the program. But everything should be plugged in before you start the program and it'll all pop up. So here's Brittany's Cam. I'm gonna go ahead and add that, okay? There she is, and uh, we're gonna put her, I think, you know, we're gonna put you on the right, right over here. Okay, and there she's playing her Game Boy. All right, uh, we're gonna add another, let's go ahead and add stand cam, okay? There I am, cool. I'm gonna put this right down here. And video capture device. Now, you would also go into create new, uh, I created one called Elgato, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull it. But you would see it in the video capture devices if everything's plugged in correctly. Um, and you could refer to my previous tutorial on this stuff to um, th learn how to set up an Elgato. But uh, my Elgato is already set up, and I just find it in the video capture device and name it. Uh, it's already named and everything. There we go, Elgato. So that is, um, the Elgato is pulling from the other PC. I'm gonna put it right up here. Um, to the left because, or to the right, because that is Brittany's screen, okay? Now we're gonna add another, we're gonna do a window capture. Um, excuse me, we're gonna do a, I think it's, a, it's called a screen capture. No, display capture, there we go. We're gonna go with left monitor, all right? There we go. Let's go ahead and make that small. And we'll position it right above myself here. Now what we want to do is we want to get these to meet up with each other just right, okay? So it takes a little bit of back and forth. Luckily they're kind of click and drag. Um, they're not quite touching yet. Let's get them just right. Hmm. Go back just a little bit here to get them just right. You don't have to, but I do it because I just like my stuff to be set up nice. There we go. That's pretty good. We'll just leave it like that for now. Okay. Next thing uh, we want to add um, a background. All right. So we're going to add an image. Uh, let's go image. Here we go actually have an existing image. Basically, you just locate the image that you want and you use it. I'm gonna go with this background image that I created. All right, now um, keep in mind with sources, there's a hierarchy of layers. So the further down it is on the bottom, the lower it is underneath stuff, okay? There's the background. You can move it anywhere you want. I'm just gonna put it right here like that for now. Right, let's focus on, those, uh, on that maple syrup. That maple syrup looks really good. We can we want breakfast. There we go. All right, cool, so there, now there's that, okay. Now we're gonna add another image. Um, actually, before we do that, let's add a browser source. Now what browser source does is it allows you to add basically website pages and st stuff from the internet from your browser. Um, to create one, uh, let's just, this one you need to be shown what to do. So we're gonna do one for alerts, okay? So you hit that, you go to alerts, you hit okay. The name's already in use. Let's do alerts two, okay? All right, and then basically you gotta get, if you go to streamlabs.com and you connect your, your Streamlabs to your Twitch page, you can get these little uh, um, links that will basically uh, act as your little stuff that you have pop up. 
So there's my link. I have a Streamlabs link. There is that code, okay? We're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And there it is. Now what I did in the last build is I put it right here in the middle. Okay, and it's probably hard to see, but it's a little red box. Okay, and I just made it size just right, and then I'll do a little test. And bam, it sent uh, a following notification test right to it. So that's what it'll look like when you get uh, a follow alert, you get a subscription alert, a donation alert, hosting alert, uh, whatever, okay? So now that's set up. Now we're gonna set up uh, the chat. So under on streamlabs.com, you go under alert box to get the alert box. To get the donation ticker, you go to donation ticker. Okay, and then it'll give you a little link, just like you got with the other one. You copy that link, and then you go um, add new browser source, okay? And then you create a browser source for it. I already built one, so I'm gonna go to add existing, but it's the same exact thing we did with the alerts too, okay? So here's mine, I have it right there. I made it to where it's kind of thin, because it's gonna ask you for your dimensions and stuff like that. I did 10, uh, 1920. That's the width I gave it, and then I gave it 75 pixels in height. That way it's just, just small enough right there, and then we're gonna kinda lift it up a little bit, right? Somewhere, well, right there is about where we can go. So right there is just fine. All right, now we got that. Now we're gonna add a chat box, okay? So we're gonna go browser source again. And I already created one, so I'm gonna go and use that, but same thing, you go to um, chat box on streamlabs.com, okay? Go to the chat box section, and you get your link and then you paste it right over here. So here's my chat box. Here we go, I'm gonna put it right here somewhere. Okay, and we're gonna make it just the right size. Let's see, um, right there, that's perfect. Hey Brittany, can you stick your right arm out for me? Uh, right there's good. So we're just gonna make it fit that right there. We'll drop it down. Bam. There's our chat. You're good, thanks. So there's our chat. Now as you can see, the donations in the chat is kinda hard to see, because um, my background's really colorful. It's very bright. Um, so it's making it hard to see stuff. So what I did is I added some images. Um, I What I did is I just got black squares, and then I got creative with uh, their size and layering. Okay, so here's the chat background square. Now, actually, as you could see, it is already kind of set up. Um, we're gonna make it bigger, like that. Okay. Then we're gonna drop it down just right. And it's above everything, okay? So we're gonna bring it all the way back, and we wanna drop it just above the background. That's the only thing it should be in front of, as far as layers are concerned. And there it is, there's the chat, okay? Um, now we're gonna add the same thing for the donation ticker one. So I just, what I did is I got a black square, I made a black square, I actually downloaded it from Google. I, I typed in black square, went to images and downloaded a black square. And it was just a regular JPEG and I just ported it in. Okay, now, um, actually, let's delete this one. Yeah. Oh, that was right. We do want that one. Let's add image. Let's go to donation background. And we're going to go ahead and make this really big. We're going to go all the way across the screen. There we go. And we're going to drop it just behind... chat background, we'll put it right there, that's fine. And so it's behind everything but uh, the wallpaper and chat background. And there we go, look at that. So we're, we've pretty much built this whole thing that easily. Um, one thing I didn't show you how to do is how to make these black squares a little bit transparent. We're gonna do that right now. So what you do is you add a filter, okay? So you right click your source, you go to filters and um, what I do is I add a, uh, where is it? A color correction, okay? 
color correction filter, and then from here you can change the opacity. I make the opacity at 75%. So if you go like that, it makes it a little bit less transparent. This one already has an effect on it because I have it built in another uh, scene and I'm borrowing it from that scene. But uh, basically you change the opacity of it right here. So if it's a black square and you change the opacity to 75, it's gonna lose 25% of its opacity, of its solidness. And so it'll be 25% transparent. Okay, we're gonna close, because we don't wanna save any of that. And there it is. So let me go back to this dual stream. It's essentially the same thing. It's a little bit different. Things are moved around just a little tiny bit, but I got it really close. And that's that. Um, Brittany, can you pull up Steam on the middle computer? We'll just fire up a game really quick. Just any game, make sure the volume's down. There we go. Steam. The, the, you had it on the, yeah, you wanna get it to the middle screen. Um, there, okay, there you go. Let go. And then just start any game. There you go, that's a good game. Genital jousting. Hey, the little Steam notification popped up right here saying that I went online playing a game. Yeah. Turn the volume down, please. There we go. That's hilarious. That's the, I, th I don't think you've, you could have picked a better game to demonstrate. So as you can see, the game is playing over there. If I played a game over here, the, the, you know, anything I do on this left screen goes up there. You know, So uh, if I start playing a game, it'll be up in this square and it'll just kind of stream and you're ready to go. And that's it. All right, so uh, I hope you guys learned something. This is a really interesting way you can set up a stream between two people. Um, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch if you haven't already. Um, or YouTube if you haven't already. Okay, and we make some pretty cool videos. We have some fun on stream. So come hang out with us next time we go live. All right? Bye, guys.